I'm so happy that you're able to join me again today. So if you've been following us, we've been just talking about what you need to do, what you need to do, what you need to know before you get married, before you say I do to anyone. There are basic things that you need to know, there are things that you need to do. There are decisions that you need to make before you finally say yes, I do to anyone. So if you've been following us the past three weeks, we first of all talked about loving yourself first, and then we talked about love not being blind, that as you progress towards marriage in any relationship, you should always keep your eyes open on those things that will eventually affect your marriage. You should address it and not close your eyes to them and not try to pretend that they don't exist. If they do exist, you should talk about them because definitely those things will affect your home and your marriage. And last week, we also talk about letting go, letting go of what has happened in the past, letting go of the past so that you can enjoy your present and move on with your life. We talked about forgiving the people that have hurt us, that have hurt you. Forgiving them does not mean that you're weak or anything. It means that you're strong enough to let go and not to give them power or authority over your life. Because if you don't forgive them, you'll not be able to really move on with so much baggages and trash. You're, 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 you're moving forward will be very slow and you may not be able to love the right person right. So if you missed any of this, please you can check on the Facebook page, The Journey to Marriage. All of these are there and you'll really be blessed by it. You can also check on the YouTube, they are there. On the YouTube, just search for Journey to Marriage. But with Sincere Samba Kasali, you're going to find all of these there. So I'm really excited for today. Today I'm really, really so excited. We are going to be talking about a very interesting subject as well. Today we're talking about love or wealth. What is your what 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 do you desire more in a life partner? Is there somebody that have that will love you and have potential, or you want money, wealth, a very rich guy? You know, we live in a day where materialism is the order of the day. Um, if you ask any average young person, single person, what characteristics do you want to see in the, in the husband you want to marry or the wife you want to marry? For the ladies, most especially, you will hear, oh, he has to be rich, very rich, he has to be tall, handsome, um, he has to have big house, cars, um, you have to be able to take me abroad, take me shopping and all of that. And if you ask a young guy, he will tell you she has to be beautiful, her face has to look like an angel with nice eyes, nice hair, and uh, the legs have to be straight and smooth and everything just has to be wonderful. Yes, this is great. But is this really what you should really want in a life partner? Should this be the, the main thing that you're looking for? Should you just look for the ladies? Should you just look for a rich guy to marry? Or the, the guys, do you just want a, a beautiful lady that all the shape and all the figure eight, everything is intact? That's what we want to be looking at this, this evening. So like I said earlier, we, we're in a time where the focus for married and up, um, singles, engaged, about to be married, not yet married, searching, it's trying to do searching. Their, their, their main goal is, I want to marry a rich guy. I want the guy to be rich, I want the lady to be beautiful. You know, physical attraction and wealth have become the order of the day. And many people have made marriage decisions based on these two things. And what is the end? It's a disaster that we are seeing in marriages around the world. Yes. Everybody wants to marry someone that can take care of them, that have money. But I want to tell you this afternoon that money is not all of it. Now, you want to marry someone for their money or for their looks. Have you taken your time to ask yourself the money, where it is coming from? Yes, you might have a guy that spend money on you, take you shopping, travel around the world. But you know, you don't really know the source of his money. You know, many ladies have made this mistake of, oh, I want to marry a rich guy. My husband must be rich. And now they are married to, to money. They are married to wealth. The husband that they wanted to marry is no longer there. Is that the kind of marriage that you want? I want you, you want to marry and then you get into your marriage and be lonely, unhappy or scared? Have you ever stopped to think where the money is coming from? Is it the right money or is it mutual money or robbery or, or any of that? Yes, 
don't make materialism your your main focus when you want to decide about getting married when you're deciding about a love a life partner who you want to spend the rest of your life with don't make money the basis of it don't decide on the basis of how she looks her face her, her, her figure eight her legs her eyes or her hair and look let me tell you something you see physical attraction all of that is going to fade away it is just a matter of time before the the, the, the blue eyes the fine face the everything fades off and then a, a, a real person is there marry someone that you love marry someone that love you plan to marry someone that love you for who you are do not marry because of money do not marry because of physical attraction the bible already told us that physical attraction beauty it will fade away all of this is going to fade away it's just a matter of time many ladies have missed out on marrying the person that God really wanted to, them to marry they have missed out on marrying the perfect partner they have missed out on marrying the, 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 the person that God ordained for them to marry simply because maybe as a, the person was not rich the person didn't have money and they looked at the person and oh they way the person oh this one no car no house no mansion no money how can i marry like marry like that he's not even tall he's not even handsome he's not even this or that or that all they are looking at are the physical things looking at money looking at looks looking at wealth all of this is going to fade away it's just a matter of time my dear sister my dear brother if you want to, if you're thinking marriage don't look at physical attraction look at character look at potential look at purpose look at vision have you ever stopped to to wonder this money that you are chasing where is it coming from where is it coming from and have you ever stopped to wonder that money makes anyone look beautiful if god has I've shown you that the person you want to marry is not rich. My dear, go ahead and marry. Don't think about money first. Look, money will come with time. Don't say that, oh, maybe she's not beautiful or she's ugly or he's not handsome or that. I'm telling you, it's just the absence of money. Even the ugliest person look good when money is there. Don't miss out. Don't miss out on what God wants you, wants you to have simply because you're looking at material and physical things. I want to tell you that money is not everything. Have you ever Ever wondered have you ever imagined do you know how many women rich married to rich people living in money sitting on money traveling the whole world touring the whole world but they are in that their marriage they are not happy they are sad they are unhappy because they married money because they did not they, 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 their focus for that marriage was money and now yes they are married to the money but they are not happy sometimes if they marry in the money and then the husband that they married is not always there He's not always there. He's traveling up and down. He's always on one business meeting, one uh, traveling, one something, one something like that. And she's all alone in the house. Alone and lonely. Look, money cannot comfort you in the night. Money cannot love you in the night. Money can buy you good clothes, good shoes. Money can travel you all over the world. But I tell you, money cannot give you peace of mind. Money cannot give you love. So money, wealth, should not be your focus when you're planning to get married. A lot of ladies, they, are, they sometimes they even get into the marriage and then they discover, oh, this person like married is a ritual. And then the marriage become a bondage. They can neither go out, they cannot go out because their life is at stake. Once they know the secret behind the money, now they are in there. They cannot run out. Is that what you want? Oh, be simply because they wanted a rich man that will buy them this, buy them that, have big house, have big mansion. My dear, don't want to marry into an already made mansion. Instead, if marry someone that together the two of you can build a mansion and live together. Do you know how the mansion was built? Some ladies are married to rich people. They don't have any respect in that home. Why? They cannot say anything. They cannot open their mouth. What will they hear? I know where I picked you from. Who are you to talk to me? I am the one that made you. It was when I married you that I changed you. I am this, I am that, I am that, I am that. They don't have any say in their home. And yes, it is true. Because they did not 
follow the right path that God chose for them. All they were looking at is the money, the money, the money, the money, the money. And now they are in the money, but they are not happy. My dear, don't make wealth, don't make money the basis for your choice or your decision regarding a life partner. Pray that God should lead you. And if God lead you to a man, I'm, I'm talking specifically to the ladies now, because this this is a problem among, you know, it's a problem with ladies, not all, but most of them. They want money. They want quick money. They want a man that is already made. They want a man that already have cars, have houses, have that, have that. They want a man that when they get in there, they don't have to suffer or toil or work or anything. So they just walk blindly into these traps. My dear, 419, they have money. I'm robbers, they can. And don't you ever compare money to love. Ladies, that he's spending money on you and um, buying you this, taking you anywhere you want to go, giving you any amount of money that you demand, giving you all the man all manners of gadgets and toys and new phones, iPad, whatever it is, does not mean that a man loves you. A man can do all of that for you, he does not love you. True love is someone that stands by you when there is nothing, someone that looks into you without your makeup and anything and tell you you're still beautiful. Don't go after money. Money is not everything that there is in life. Guys, don't go and marry her because she has figure eight. Don't go to marry because um, uh, she's beautiful, her eyes are blue and grey. I tell you a story. A guy married a lady because her face was, was God. Well, she was the most beautiful. She was an angel. And after they got married, years into the marriage, she had an accident that hot water poured on her face. And that gorgeous face that he married was gone. And what was the what was the what was the result? He was tired. She what he married was her face. What he married was the beauty. He didn't marry the lady as a person. He only married her beautiful face to front it with his friends and all of that. And there was no problem. He couldn't cope. But if you have someone that marries you for you, that marries you, come what may, whether the face is no longer there, the body is no longer there, you will, they will still love you and you will leave you a guy, you will still love them. So never you marry because of, because of looks, because of the face, because of the body, or because of money. Let me tell you something, situation change. You may be... You may be in a courtship with someone that don't have money today. It does not mean that that is how that person is going to end. God changes situations. That situation can change in the next coming years. That situation can change as long as that person has vision, he has a purpose, and he has a plan. I'm telling you, situation can change. Money also fly away. You can also marry money, and you get into that marriage, and the money is gone. Ma money also fly away just as a, a poor person can also get rich. So do not make money the basis for your marriage. They may be rich today, they may not be rich tomorrow. He may be poor today, she may be poor today, not be poor tomorrow. She may not have all the angelic look that you're seeking for. But I'm telling you, if, you, if there is money, if there is no woman that you invest money into that will not look beautiful, trust me. And also, guys, when you are running after a lady because of her look, do you know that we are in the era of makeup? That even the ugliest lady can wear makeup and look like an angel. So you should not focus on how she looks, but focus on character, focus on personality, focus on integrity, focus on hard work. What kind of lady is she? Is she just all fish, all fish out, a slave queen, slave king? Slave ladies don't look for slave king. Look for someone that has vision, look for someone that has purpose, look for someone with integrity. Don't go running after money. I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story. You, you may know these two of these, 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 these great men I want to talk about. One of them is Sonny Badu. He's a gospel artist. He sings. Sonny Badu was a cleaner in his, in his, in his university days. He had nothing whatsoever. He was very poor. When his mates are going to, to lecture hall to learn, he was going about looking for where to clean, to make money. The lady that he wanted to marry at the time refused to marry. The mother of the lady also rejected him totally. You, you don't have it. They told him, you don't have anything to your name. You're a poor guy. And she he didn't marry that lady. Many years have passed. Today, since Sonny Bado, he's the CEO of 10 companies, almost 10 companies, is a UN ambassador. He has three smashing album records to his name. So what are we saying? 
The lady did not want to marry him because he didn't have this, he didn't have that. But today, God has blessed him. He's happily married with kids. Ladies, money is not the basis for anything. It's not the basis that you make a decision for marriage. I also tell you, many of you will know Nathaniel Bassi. He's also a gospel artist. When Nathaniel proposed to his wife to marry, according to his testimony, he said he had nothing. He only had his trumpet, a pair of jacket and whatever. No car, no house, no mansion. But what he had, he had vision. And he had purpose. He had a dream. He, he knew where he was going. He had potential. He had, I repeat it, he had potential. And when the, the, the wife, the fiance, the fiance at that time, said, told her friends, oh, Nathaniel wants to marry me. And they were like, who? Nathaniel, please marry someone else. He doesn't have anything. He is this, he is poor. What, what do you see in that poor guy? Ladies and gentlemen, today Nathaniel is a respected gospel actress all over the world. Thankfully that lady married him. Thankfully that she married him. Today she is, she is, she is traveling. There's no place in the world that she wants to go to that he cannot take her. There's no kind of shopping that she wants to shop that. And he respects and honors her. And you, if you can hear him talk about his wife. Ladies, look, look for a guy with potential. Don't look for a guy with money. I'm telling you, money without potential will disappear. It will end. It will finish. But potential will bring money and potential can sustain it. I've just shared you two examples. The other one did not marry. Maybe today she will sit back and regret and wish she married Sonny Badu. But no, he's happily married now. And God has, uh, God has blessed him. Nathaniel as well. The wife stayed blessed. She, she saw his potential. She did not look for money. Ladies, don't go into marriage because you want to go to an already made mansion, already made man, already made house, already made everything. Don't look for already made. Go to where you will labor with him and make everything. You will get respect in that marriage. You will get respect in that marriage. You don't want to base your decision on, on love or on, on, on material things alone. You don't want to base your decision on money, wealth, finances, whatever that person has alone. So as you, as you join you towards marriage, as you step towards marriage, know that money is not everything. Know that money can disappear. Know that money can finish. And in the age and the time that we are, if you've been looking at the news, if you have been looking at the internet, you will see a lot of things that young girls are suffering simply because they want a rich guy. Most of them end up in the hand of ritual, ritualists. Yes, it's, they are giving them the money, they are giving them the material things, but they also have material motive for them. It's not like they want to marry them or anything. They want to use them for one ritual, for one sacrifice, or for one thing. If you read recently, there was a lady that the, 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 husband, the, the, the boyfriend or the fiancé, what can I call him now, locked her up in a, in a pit for, for almost 28 days without food or water. Making it, we wanted to make a ritual for her and of her. Thank God that people saw him and, and she was saved. And you can see the picture of the lady before and after. And you can only weep. What is this? All because of money? What kind of money? Money is not everything. There, there are robbers out there. They make money they, because they, they, they don't labor for the money. They spend it and they're spending it on you. You are happy. Oh, he loves me. Oh, he just puts me high for him. Oh, he just puts me high for him. It's not love, my dear. That is not love. That he is giving you all these material things does not mean that he loves you. Please look for potential in a man. Look for potential in a life partner. Look for good qualities. Money is yes. Everybody wants it. If a man is able to take care of you, he has a steady job. He has a steady income. He can take care of you. He can provide for you. He can, and God is putting it in your heart that this is your husband. My sister, don't run away because he wants the one that will fly you in a heli helicopter and all of that. With time, it will come. Let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says that he that findeth a wife, that he find a good thing and he obtain favor from God. If you marry that man, favor will come to him. It's 